The Bilgewater Union, known to most as just Bilgewater, was founded 150 years ago, and is home of smugglers, martyrs, and the corrupt. Located on the southeast of Valoran, on what is known as the Blue Flame Islands. People don't tend to visit or live in Bilgewater unless to escape justice, debt, persecution, find trade, or seek new riches. It is very much a city of new beginnings, as no citizen within Bilgewater will question or care about your past. It's a fusion of all cultures, creeds, and races. Though Bilgewater is without a doubt very dangerous, it is also the perfect place to reset your life. It is full of opportunity and unbound by regulations, personal morals, or a government. Whatever one seeks, it can most likely be bought in Bilgewater. Whether that be Demacian armor, Hextech, or simple goods, though you have to be careful while doing so, as crime is not usually punished. To help further understand the lore, and what kinds of citizens live there, these are the champions that are from Bilgewater. Gangplank, Graves, Alawi, Misfortune, Nautilus, and Twisted Fate. Fizz and Tom Kench are not considered Bilgewater champions by Riot, most likely due to them traveling around Runeterra for most of their lives. Fizz is currently a resident of Bilgewater after wandering the ocean for years, and Tom Kench is very well respected in Bilgewater, and carvings of him are on almost every dock post. Due to Bilgewater being a relatively lawless nation, its inhabitants are often armed with a variety of weapons, from cutlasses to pistols. Weapons are cheap and easy to acquire. Due to there being so few resources, the architecture of Bilgewater are built with scrap materials you can find, as well as the remains of ships, sometimes coming as far as Ionia, Demacia, and Freljord. Gangplank also has a lot of power in Bilgewater, and keeps a lot of the town's wealth to himself. Everybody within the town knows not to mess with him or his treasure. He's said to hold a lot of silver serpents, which are Bilgewater's official currency, though any valuable form of payment is accepted anywhere. The indigenous culture of the Blue Flame Isles is highly respected by Bilgewater citizens, and forms of the culture have been incorporated into daily life. Nobody can navigate the ocean without the help of the natives because of their outstanding knowledge. People of indigenous descent are often given key roles in the fleets and gangs of Bilgewater, and are respected by their community, a rare sight. In addition to the indigenous culture, the citizens often look to the bearded lady for safety and guidance, which is an ancient sea monster or deity. When sailors arrive or leave the port, they throw offerings overboard in hope of quelling her wrath. Some citizens, however, pray to the bearded lady for the black mist to not take them during the harrowing. The Halloween is always a brutal time for Bilgewater. Every year, citizens are left wondering when and where the brutal souls of the Shadow Isles will strike, and how many casualties they will have to suffer. For years, the Halloween was marshaled by Hecarim, and for years, he led the Wild Hunt and lay waste to the port of Grey Harbor. Despite great resistance by fleets who had docked there, all souls are lost. Until this day, Grey Harbor remains a wasteland and is still uninhabited. Mordekaiser has also led the harrowing on a night of slaughter in Port Morn. Port Morn is uninhabited to this day, as specters are said to walk the empty streets. This happened again at Smuggler's Cove, where the harrowing lay waste to an entire area without a single survivor. Misfortune, Gangplank, and Nautilus have all been spotted fighting during the harrowing at some point, but the deaths are always large in number. Bilgewater has a total of 19 known locations in its area. Within Bilgewater's island chain is the island of Baru. The Isles of Baru are where the religion of Nagakaburos originated, as well as the location of the Kraken priestess, Ilawi. Here, battle isn't considered a test of strength, but rather of will. Butcher's Bridge was the era map played during the Burning Tides event in-game. Butcher's Bridge was once an ancient stone bridge leading to the entrance of a temple, though it has been poorly maintained and now mainly serves as the connection between the slaughter docks and one of the slums of Bilgewater. The warehouse is a large building at the end of the dock meant for keeping the vastly acquired loot of Gangplank. Guarded on three sides by a shark and razorfish, on the fourth, the gang known as the Jagged Hooks. The Jagged Hooks are the oldest and strongest of all gangs in Bilgewater and are never messed with, as they have pledged their allegiance to Gangplank and are known to be very dangerous. Three of the locations of Bilgewater are left uninhabited due to the effects of the harrowing, 
Grey Harbor, Port Morn, and Smuggler's Cove were left completely dead and are haunted to this day. The slaughter docks are a pinnacle of Bilgewater, as slaughter fleets are a huge contributor to the economy of Bilgewater. Fleets set out from ports at sunset to hunt mighty sea monsters, though frequently fleets fight amongst each other for dominance. Once the slaughter fleets return home from their hunts, they bring their kills to the slaughter sheds. The slaughter sheds are enormous sheds on the docks, known for the butchering of massive creatures, for their meat, bones, and armored hides. Trades for glands, organs, and secretions harvested from the servant thrive in Bilgewater. The southern beacon used to be used to alert ship captains and guide them away from the rough shores. However, after the harrowing at this location a few years back, the beacon was destroyed. West Bay is the main entrance to the largest establishment of Bilgewater, Rat Town. Upstream above the slaughter docks is Butcher's Bridge, which acts as a gate to the inner parts of the city as well as the bridge to the Temple of the Mother Serpent. Due to the city's large variety of cultural heritage, the location also holds a mixed approach on architectural design. This can vary from frail Yordian ships turned into living quarters to the carvings marked by the indigenous population. The various pubs and taverns are found on Fleet Street and boast about having the nation's finest rum. Around the islands of Bilgewater, waters are darkened by the blood and chum of slain sea monsters. This area is known as the White Wharf, located near the slaughter docks, which is given its name due to the coat of bird waste which covers it from end to end. These waters are also home to the graveyards, the place of an innumerable amount of floating buoys anchored by corpses of the dead. The wealthy are put into expensive submerged caskets, with more grand tombstones bobbing above the surface, while the poor are often found tied to an old anchor beneath waterlogged barrels. Some other notable locations in Bilgewater are Freeman's Airy, The Siren, Diver's Bluff, Knife Straits, and The Deadpool, which is Gangplank's ship anchored at the Slaughter Dogs. Now to wrap things up, two things that are a bit more fun. The two creatures that live in Bilgewater are Wharf Rats and Scuttle Crabs. Wharf Rats are strange creatures that are a blend between shark and rat. They are most commonly found on the docks, but made an appearance on the Butcher's Bridge era map. But they look a little cuter there. Scuttler crabs, or rift scuttlers, are actually freshwater creatures and live throughout Valoran, and are found in Summoner's Rift. They have six legs and one pair of claws. They are passive and harmless creatures and bury themselves into the river to escape being harmed. Ironbacks, Aquapods, Plunder Crabs, and Razor Fins were also all seen during the Black Market Brawlers game mode, but are considered more mutations from Bilgewater and not so much natural creatures. The Grug Mug Grog Slog was a famed Bilgewater event where competitors attempted to prove themselves by being the hardest drinker on the high seas. The competition was used to crown the best scab and glug. The scab title was given to the creator of the strongest grog, while the glug was awarded to the competitor who tr could drink the most. Gangplank historically won the scab title for 15 years. Bilgewater is more than just a beaten down pirate's town. It's home of new beginnings, a wide variety of cultures, and a place flourishing with opportunity. Hopefully you learn more about this awesome region and look forward to learning more about Runeterra and its many locations and champions. Comment below with what champion or location you'd like to see next. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you all again very soon.